Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, last time we had a nice tea time, nice little talk with the with the friends here, getting to know everybody. But um, we have some unfinished business to take care of. We're halfway to level five, but that should be enough to take on Auntie Ethel. And then after that, I kind of just want to explore the fog of war and what you know what we've missed out on just generally looking for anything we can oh hello camera let's see what this does but uh i think that's all i have to say actually uh let me uh let me get to auntie ethel and we'll start there Oh, never mind. As soon as I go through the fucking My condition door. likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. Jesus Consume. fucking Christ, kid. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, they're on the backpack, aren't they? They're not going to show up. Most unhelpful. Yep. Um. Oh, what? Okay, I got to reload. I'm gonna reload. Okay, we're back. Uh, <laughs> so my condition likes being ignored. As normally, I wouldn't I reload for stuff like that, but the fact that he left the party and I have no other soon. party members, I can't afford to fucking lose him right now. Uh, I do have all of them on Shadow Heart, so I have these Fleet Fingers, I have this Blazer, and I have the Robe of Summer. I think I'm gonna give him that one. Thank you. Just for now, because that's kind of the weakest one we have, honestly. It's not that good. <sighs> Just good stare God. into my eyes. <laughs> it hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Okay. There's no need. I trust you. <laughs> no. Go on. We're among I'll friends. Just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was so my sorry. skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Goddamn. You tell me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. My we man. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. Ooh, baby. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, definitely underestimated game. Oh. Much more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. You mean anal? <laughs> How exactly would you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. <laughs> We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Sure, I'm here to listen. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. Sounds right. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. 
He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hmm. Guess <laughs> you rolled out flowers and chocolates all together then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I'm certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Uh, okay. <laughs> you feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. Jesus Christ, my man. Gale's eyes staring down the corridors of a dread. <laughs> <laughs> Sarian's just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pulses. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? <laughs> I'm traveling with a monster. <laughs> How are you still Thankfully, alive? The moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. <laughs> okay. Don't kiss my hand. <laughs> this netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You'll die. Rather worse, actually. Aww. I will erupt. Ooh. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. At a level a city the size of Waterdeep. So you're a walking, talking nuke. Um. <laughs> Is there nothing we, we can do? Chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Dude, I just reloaded for you. Shut the fuck up. What are the other's thoughts? You'd have us debate that Netherese Jack in the Box should be a blip on the horizon by now. I'm in two minds. And frankly, don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. Okay, well, Serena's gonna hate me. Come together this far, we'll continue together. That's how it'll that be. Is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. 
Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Cool. Oh, also, doesn't he... Can he change his spells on the fly? Kinda, sorta. Uh, huh. Scorching Ray will be good. I don't know why he didn't have everything all good and tidy. Um, oh yeah, he's a sorcerer too. I forgot I did that to him. Uh, what about you? You can do that as well. Yeah, but you're good. Uh, no time All right, to rest. Auntie Ethel time. Okay, here we are, back again. What is this little purple thing? Nothing? Okay, weird. Uh, so... One thing I did see in my inventory here, I do have these... Where are they? Potions of speed. Give an extra action, two bonus to armor class, advantage on dexterity saving throws, and double your movement speed. Insane that I have not been using these. <laughs> When condition ends become lethargic after massive haste can't move or take actions bonus actions or reactions okay so i just lose a turn after i after haste ends but how long does haste last 10 turns that's pretty good i think i can probably deal with that but auntie ethel's right there uh, I'm going to... Let's all go sneaky. On my feet. There, Let's the actually cage. get up here. Let's get in and out. Interesting mm. stuff. Mm. I get up here. Then we're gonna disconnect. Me and Shadowheart. No. There we go. Me and Shadowheart are gonna go and talk to her. Oh, she just you starts. Girl so bad. Okay. Oh, that's damn it. Okay, she still hits like a fucking truck. Okay, so she's burning the cage. I can deal with that. I should start with this. Is it just those two? Huh. Okay. So that's those two, and then I can do this. Your time has come. Bloody clever clogs. Ah, that's the real one. Got her. Okay. I still need to get rid of. So magic missile can do because it doesn't miss. Okay, there we go. I'll drink a potion. She still can't do anything, so that's fine. Zanros. I'll just blast from here. Can, but it's very hard. Do I have anything to charisma save? Strength save. 
What are your stats here? You got tons of strength and tons of charisma. Awesome. I think I'm gonna hex your charisma. Oh, I have to be... Huh. Weird that I have to be so close to her. Do I really have to be in melee? It says 60 feet. Yeah, that's bullshit. Okay. That's melee range. An Eldritch Blaster. Missed. Okay. Fair enough. You. Sneak attack. That's good damage. I guess I can hide again. Let's find some prey. And then end my turn. Ah, yes. <laughs> this fucking thing I forgot about. Oh, and the cage I also forgot about. Okay. It's just mockery. Awesome. Okay, do I want the opportunity attack or do I want the shocking grasp? I think the shocking grasp would be better. Nope. Two damage. What does that do, though? Can't take reactions. That's actually pretty good. Um, so everyone looks pretty good. I think that's fair. She does have high dex, I believe, right? Uh, not bad. Plus two to saving throws. I don't know what my DC is, though. How do I check that? Hmm. Dark vision range, armor class. I don't see a difficulty class. I don't know what my spell DC is. Anyway. Um, should I put resistance on, on Xanros here? Oh, uh, that's a melee. Guidance is also melee. Should I just hit her with the frickin' Guiding Bolt? Level 2 Guiding Bolt? 35% chance. Not that good. Please, please, please. Not, uh... Looking too good. Increases your armor class by 3, each duplicate. Oh, wow. That's a level 2 spell. I could put that on Gale, right? Gale has the lowest DC at 11! And that's with these bracers that give him plus two. Yikes. Oh, that's not... Okay. Fair enough. What's her AC now? 27! <laughs> Jesus! Okay. Interesting. And then I can just double that, right? Holy shit. Cast this spell doesn't grant any additional. Yeah, let me. Holy hell. 29 armor class. That's insanity. Now, what does Vicious Mockery do? Disadvantage on next attack roll. So that's unfortunate. I do have a 20% chance there. Um. Well, should I take that potion now? It gives me a... And I could probably get in there now. Okay, that's good. So my next attack roll has disadvantage. So why don't I just... Oh, and I still fucking hit it. Okay. That's actually amazing. I'm gonna put this on you. And I got it. Let's go. 25%. Holy shit. Can I hit you from there? I fucking can. Get fucking shit on. Loser. We'll hide again. Ooh, I forgot about the burning cage already again. 
Gale. You have any water spells? I have ice knife, but that's gonna do a lot of damage to the cage. Let me. I have a thing of water. Let me go here. Let me go throw. And I hit the cage. It says death. As but. you wish. Hey, stop the burning. Check out bloody heaven. Fuck yeah. So I think that's a good good thing here. I can fly. Not enough movement. Can I fly anywhere? Guess not. I'll get right here and then fly. Not enough movement. I wish this was more correct, I guess. <laughs> I'm a sh Don't let that all be happy okay. Eight health. And one of them's real, I believe. Son of a bitch. Um. Hmm. Do I have anything that does like one damage? I should in my bag. Whose turn do I, I want to use for that? They burn. I should use Gale, maybe? Have anything that'll do one damage to her? Maybe the candle? Volb bulb. Void bulb. I think that'll work. Oh, I do. Why can I not throw it that far? Should be able to throw it pretty fucking far. Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm losing it. Old boy on Gale. Throw. I can hit them both right there. I'd be hitting my party members too, but it's one damage. Okay. There she is. You can get the fuck out of here. I need you to... Holy shit, I'm surprised you could fucking... Okay, that works. Blood comes easy these days. Uh... Should I just smack her? What's my attack? 5 to 10? Don't have a lot of attacks. Maybe I can commander to Ravel. Thirty five percent chance. Should I just I'll blind the target? Oh no, she has way more than 33 hit points. Okay, I guess I'll just try to hit her. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, that's right, I have two actions. Bonus action. Is she still hexed? No. So let's hex her again. Maybe for strength this time? Or, well... Should I hex her dex? Does that do anything to her armor class? Plus two from dexterity. So maybe if I hex her... No, that's from saving throws. Never mind. It doesn't lower her dex. I'm an idiot. Um, I guess I'll do charisma again. Extra charisma. Should have done that first. I can snipe you. 11. Dude, Asterion's just fucking hitting like a truck, bro. She's almost dead. Now can you fly over here? Not enough movement. Okay, you can fly right there, though. And then that's it. Jesus. This, what a wasted spell slot for that fucking thing. Right. 
Okay. Uh, Gail can actually take care of this because we know she's revealed. Loss in visibility due to effects see-through invisibility. Okay, so... Oh, shit. They are really far away. Fight magic missile. And go one, two... I can't... Can't hit them. What if I get as far in as I can? And maybe I give him... Maybe I give him the speed potion, too. If I do a potion of speed on him... That way I can cast Magic Missile... Two... Three... I can't get that one, but I can hit this oh, one at least. <laughs> so that gets rid of that. I can go in more. Maybe I can try to hit this. 15% chance. Yeah, no. I'll just use Magic Missile again. Level 2. And I'll put one on you. And the rest on you. That's so good, dude. Magic Missile is so fucking good. It doesn't say it, but it, it can't miss. It doesn't have a chance to miss. Let's finish this. Okay. So let's go in. Not enough movement. Can I jump? There? Okay. Of course, she missed. Don't even catch my breath. Eldritch blast you. Who, baby, Eldritch blast again? Oh my God, she's so close. Should I put this on someone? Maybe her or Gail. I'll put it on her just in case. I don't know if she's gonna. Try to fuck with her. Oh, son of a bitch. And you still can't move. Okay, now you can. Wait! Oh, wait just a tick! Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Hmm. I have something you want. Go on. I knew I liked you, dearie. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is Plus possible. one to ability Just score? Let me keep the girl and her babe. Trading some wealth we just met for impossible power. <laughs> it's a fine deal. It's your choice, sweetness. Oh, why isn't Xanros doing this? Damn it. Peric of Shar, bathe in your blood as offer as a death up in prayer. I mean, I have negative one. I guess I'll do it. Give myself guidance. Oh, I have to roll a 20. So I literally have to roll. Oh, fuck me. Nope, not happening. Do I have any inspiration? I have four inspiration. Fuck it. 18, super close, but not good. <gasps> no way, I got a third try. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. 
Ew, what the fuck? Ew. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deals off, you dumb cow. And you've her to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. <laughs> if I see you again, we'll be fertilizing if I the ever swamp. See you again, you'll have a tentacle for a tongue. Bye bye, Petal. I'm so stupid. How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child. Uh, less crying, more gold, please. Uh, no, that would have been very stupid of you. It was part of the deal. For him. My husband. She was going to bring him back. Bring on her back to life. Uh, what would I have in your child? You'd sacrifice a new life for a lost life? Pure selfishness. I have nothing, all right? Ethel promised to raise the child, teach them magic, give them a good life. It's a damn sight better than I can do. I just want in everything back, back the way it was. She took advantage. Uh, doesn't seem like an excuse. <laughs> the deal you made. That doesn't excuse the deal you made. I never said it did. I just wanted you to understand. Look, I don't like owing people. Here, this socket is worth some coin. <laughs> Not much indeed. Got anything else? It's this or the clothes off my back. And I'm not walking out of here, Starkers. You want it or not? And nothing, I Just suppose. Look after it. All right. My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, what the fuck is this? Uh, it's a deal pedal. Great power. Wisdom, strength, constitution, dexterity. Definitely going charisma. All right, everybody, get back together. Single use. Consuming. Oh. Ooh. I have 17 charisma now. Which doesn't do anything, but pretty good. Okay. Let's, uh, that will fit in my pack. Let's check out this shit in here. Swift as my feet can carry me. Ooh, there's tons in here. Pig's head, point loin, pork loins. The ever seeing eye. What's well, a protection from good and evil? That gives me advantage on. Oh, on the attacks of aberrations. Huh. I thought that gave, gave me advantage. What was the one that gives me advantage? Divine sense is what I'm thinking of. Okay. Was this a... Oh, this is a necklace. Okay. 
I guess I'll give it to you. You don't have anything. And I can't... Not these say not consumable by Gale anymore. I wonder why that is. Interesting. Um, okay. There's still more stuff. Oops. Windows key. God damn it. Potion of speed. I just used two of those. Letter from Ethel. Letter to Ethel. Okay, heavy chest. Ooh, just a ton of rings. The hell is all this? Missing pets, wilted dreams, butterflies in the stomach, lost time, broken promises. What is any of this? Insanity's kiss? I don't know what any of this is. Should I just take them? They're only worth one coin. I don't think... Oh, another put... I... Fuck yeah, dude. Staff of Crones. Cool. And what is this? Mushroom Circle. I'm gonna save the game. Uh, hold on. Why are there... Search the lair for a way to help her. What is this one, though? If Yankee Patrol, if Yankee Warriors, huh? Yeah, fuck it. I just oh, saved it. I'll give it a shot. Oh, give it a shot. Oh well, let me. Do I still have a rest? I do. Putrid bog. That's where I was. Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Uh, you can just leave him here. Whiting will get you there faster. Same with her in silence. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've Push women, kids. They'll fall for you. <laughs> uh, you all right? Not even a little bit. But I will be. Okay. You could just leave him here. No! He deserves a proper burial! He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. Whining won't get you any faster. Miserable bastard, you know that. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back. <laughs> what if I touch coffin? It's red. I don't want to. I can take her. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your. You think I give a not fuck? The communal you. Okay. Grave markers. Connor, beloved husband, and the tasty little morsel to boot. Epic. Now, is there stuff down here? This looks walkable. Uh, it just looks like... Okay. Is there anything over here? Oh, it goes all the way up. Am I gonna pass any perception checks or survival checks? Nope. Okay. Well, that clears out a good bit. There's still this down here. So why don't I teleport here and then just go down from there? But this episode's gone on long enough. I think I'll call it there. 
if nothing happens down there, I'll just, I won't even bother putting in an episode. But next time, what do we do next time? I think there's still this over here. We, this area, we still got to go through. But then other than that, oh, I guess there's this up here. This goes more north. Oh, that's that bridge that I, that had all the blood everywhere. I guess we'll go that way. After I clear out all the stuff I can here. But that'll be for next time. I'll see you in the next one.